Derby Race fans, welcome to another how-to video from Maximum Velocity. I'm Joel. Today we're going to be talking about the cog stand. But the definition of the cog stand is a center of gravity uh, stand. So this is a tool that's going to help you accurately measure the, uh, the balance point of your Pinewood Derby car. And the reason we want to know this is so that we have a stable car when we're going down the track. So, when you place your order, this is what you get. You get a bag here that contains the stand and the, the pieces for the stand and the instructions on how to use it. So, this is the base. Uh, the base has all been laser cut and it has uh, all the scribe marks for the different, uh, different measurements um, of how the car is balancing. Up here are your slots that the actual stand goes into. We're going to set that down and pull out the acrylic pieces here for the stand. And these might be a little hard to see because they are smaller pieces uh, and they're clear acrylic. So here we go. So there's your main stand piece and there's are the supports. If you see the slots in there, we're just going to install all these together. So we're going to put the clear slots or the, the supports in and then slide all of this in the stand in one little thing. So when it's assembled you should have something that looks like this. Um, so now you're ready to do a measurement on your on your car. So a couple of pointers on when you're doing this uh, and how to do it correctly is when you measure the car you're going to want to make sure that the, uh, the car is fully assembled. That it's got the wheels uh, the axles and all the weight installed in it. Um, this is if you don't have the front wheels on or the wheels on, it's going to throw off the measurement and the balance. So when you do this, make sure the car is completely assembled. And then when you do, all you're going to do to to measure is to set the car on the stand. And this can be a little tricky to get it to balance just right. And once you get it balanced, then you can take your measurement. Almost there. It's just teetering back and forth here. All right. So right there we have that car balanced on this stand. And the way we're going to see what our center of gravity is, is we're going to look at the position of our axle, our rear axle. And that's going to give us uh, our balance point. So if we come straight down off of this uh, rear axle and go down to our, our scribe marks on the stand, it says three quarters of an inch. So the balance point of this car is three quarters of an inch in front of that rear axle. So this is a fairly aggressive weighted car, which will be, um, which can be super quick down through down through the hill, because with this weight all into the back, it's going to give that extra push through the transition. So typically for a, a scout car, you're not going to want to go much less than three quarters of an inch in front of the rear axle. Usually three quarters of an inch to an inch is your safe zone. If you get in that uh, half an inch area or less, uh, you run the risk of having a car that's too light on the front end and when it goes down the track you'll see that front end just go bounce back and forth. And you don't want that and that will scrub off a lot of speed uh, and make it for a very unstable um, car. But this is how you use the cog stand and uh, it's a great tool, inexpensive tool to have in your Pinewood Derby box. Uh, but it can be the difference of uh, having a great stable car and one that uh, has problems going down the track. So, hopefully this was informative for you on how this tool is used. And uh, there will be a link to this actual product in the description. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at maximumvelocity.com.